This video is sponsored by Brevity. What is going on everyone? My name is Jason, and this is the iPhone 13 Pro three months later. Okay, the iPhone 13 Pro, man, where do I begin? So I think it's fair to say that over time, smartphones all have started to kind of feel the same. And I think this sentiment is especially true when it comes to iPhones. Apple is notorious for making incremental changes model to model, and that's even more the case when it comes to the overall user experience. But after using the iPhone 13 Pro over the past three months, this is probably the first time in which I can confidently say that going with the Pro model of iPhone could legit be worth it. I really think that this is one of the best iPhones to date, and when benchmarked against the regular iPhone 13, the 13 mini, and the 13 Pro Max, the 13 Pro is my clear favorite. So today, I wanna to talk about how my experience has been with this phone three months later, and specifically focus on why I think it could be considered one of the best iPhones ever made. Now, before we jump into the review, in case you're new here, I'm Jason. I would really appreciate it if you take a quick second to press that thumbs up button. It really does help out solo creators like myself get a little bit more traction on their videos, so please help a brother out. And in case you're a tech junkie like me, I make a video like this every single week, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the reviews. And before I jump into it, do me a favor, let me know in the comments which iPhone 13 you think is the best. Would you go with the regular 13, the 13 Pro, the 13 Pro Max, or the 13 Mini? Curious to get your thoughts, let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. Okay, the first reason why the iPhone 13 Pro three months later is a masterpiece is the design and form factor. Now, no doubt this is one of the most premium phones available today. And when it comes to overall quality and build, the 13 Pro is representative of the best of the best. Everything from how the beautiful frosted glass back panel integrates seamlessly into the super luxurious stainless steel frame, to the elegant industrial aesthetic that screams simplicity and sophistication, the iPhone 13 Pro is one of the best phones to look at and it really only gets better once you actually have it in your hands. And after doing some comprehensive testing of the iPhone 13, the 13 Pro, the 13 mini, and the 13 Pro Max, I've come to the conclusion that the 13 Pro is the clear winner when it comes to the best form factor. And the main reason for this distinction is around the 13 Pro's dimensions. It's to me the most accommodating size when it comes to balancing out comfort and function. Physically, it's not as big as a lot of the modern flagships out there, and you can see how it compares to the much larger iPhone 13 Pro Max, and this makes it much more comfortable to operate. Navigating around iOS is easy to do, even one-handed, which is nice. And I've generally felt a lot less anxious about dropping the phone when using it on the move. Now, I will say that the 13 mini is indeed more comfortable than the 13 Pro when it comes to the fit in the hand. Y'all know that I absolutely love that phone, but the reason why I say the 13 Pro is the overall king when it comes to the form factor is because you get a good amount of comfort without conceding what a lot of folks are unwilling to give up, and that's screen real estate. The 6.1 inch display really is that Goldilocks just right size that provides a very immersive user experience. And even though I don't personally feel this way, I can understand that reducing the screen size to 5.4 inches by going with the 13 mini may be too much to ask for, even if you do gain a little bit more of a more comfortable device. Now on the flip side of that coin, yes, you do get a very enjoyable 6.7 inch display on the 13 Pro Max, which is truly great for consuming content, but that phone is so big and heavy, it really is fatiguing to operate over extended periods of time, and it's noticeably not as comfortable. Now you may not even care about form factor, and given its prevalence, you may have already adopted the bigger is better mindset around smartphones these days, but if you are on the move often, having a fragile, cumbersome phone is not exactly ideal. And though the extra screen real estate is nice, you're really not sacrificing much there by going with the 13 Pro. To me, it's really the best of both worlds. Now, before we get into the second reason why I love the iPhone 13 Pro, I wanna give a big shout out to today's video sponsor, Brevity. If you didn't know, Brevity makes some of the best backpacks in the world today, and their particular area of expertise are camera bags. This is their very popular product called the Runner, and it's gotta be one of the most well-designed bags I've ever seen. So first and foremost, this bag has an awesome padded camera compartment that comes with these removable padded dividers. This allows you to customize your layout to ensure that you get the best fit for your specific camera needs with plenty leftover space to store the lenses, batteries, etc. And the best part about this compartment, it has a super clutch quick access door on the side here that gives you immediate access to your camera. It's incredibly convenient, seriously perfect if you're a run and gun type shooter. Plus, there's also a dedicated padded sleeve over here that could comfortably fit a 16-inch MacBook Pro, which is awesome. The top compartment stores all of your essentials, and it comes with two magnetic lock mechanisms in case you need some extra space. There are literally pockets everywhere to store things like your phone, SD cards, passports, tripods, etc. 
You get the JIT pack of all your camera and editing equipment in this one extremely well-made bag. And what's great about the runner that, in my opinion, really makes it stand out, it doesn't look like your traditional ugly camera bag. I use this bag all the time, even when I'm not filming anything because it looks so good, and because it's lightweight and made out of a durable, water-resistant material, and has a lifetime warranty, I could trust this bag to hold up no matter the circumstance. If you guys are interested in checking out the runner or any of their other incredible bags, Brevity is hooking you guys up. Just go to brevity.co slash JSL or use JSL at checkout and you'll get 10% off your first purchase. Find out why everyone is raving about these bags. Check out Brevity today. Okay, the second reason why the iPhone 13 Pro three months later is truly awesome is because of its updated display. Now, I should clarify that the screen's hardware is virtually the same from last year's model. It's a beautiful 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR OLED panel coming in at a resolution of 2532 by 1170, and it's a quality display. You get rich, punchy colors, fantastic contrast with those inky blacks, and you get a really bright and vibrant HDR viewing experience on this phone. It's also quite immersive as it does have a really slim and symmetrical bezel, so it makes things like watching videos and playing games a real treat. Now, as great as all that is, it's really nothing too different from the pro lineup of iPhones of the past and even some of the non-pros for that matter. But Apple finally did something this year to meaningfully differentiate the iPhone 13 Pro from its non-pro brother, they equipped it with their much beloved ProMotion technology. One of the last to join the high refresh rate party, the iPhone 13 Pro officially now has a 120 hz variable refresh rate, and despite it being embarrassingly late, it no doubt delivers quite an impact to the user experience. The optimization of Apple's hardware with its software has always led to a very smooth iOS user experience since essentially the inception of the iPhone. And at first, I wasn't sure if adding a high refresh rate display to an already smooth operating system would make for a noticeable difference. But man, the execution on this upgrade was really well done and it's something I noticed right away since getting the phone in my hands. Navigating around the UI is silky smooth, all the animations are more engaging to the eye, and scrolling through everyday apps is noticeably more enjoyable. And what's really nice about Apple's implementation here is that you're able to get the high refresh rate majority, if not the entire time while the phone is actually in use. I haven't experienced any throttling or jerkiness while scrolling through apps like I've been experiencing on my Pixel 6 Pro, and it makes the entire user experience that much more refined. Now, it is really hard to capture this on camera, and it's important to note that this is going to be something that's more subtle than over the top in terms of noticing. But the reason why I think this feature is so impactful is because it's part of virtually every interaction that you're gonna be having on this phone. And as subtle as it might be, it's something that you're gonna take notice of every time you open up your device. Okay, the last reason why the iPhone 13 Pro three months later is my personal favorite iPhone thus far, it's gonna sound underwhelming, but stick with me here, it's the battery life. Now, yes, that can sound boring, but trust me when I say that battery life is low key one of the most important features that you really should be heavily factoring in on any smartphone buying decision. And that's because people are using their phones more and more every day and relying on them for much more critical things now. So having a phone with an unreliable power source, man, it really should be a deal breaker. Now, fortunately, should you decide to go with the iPhone 13 Pro, I can almost guarantee you that you will never have this problem. The battery life on this phone, for lack of a better word, is extraordinary. It's a significant and very noticeable increase from last year's iPhone 12 Pro, as I'm averaging around eight hours of screen on time, which is really impressive as this phone isn't that physically big. Apple did make the 13 Pro a tad bit thicker to equip it with a slightly bigger battery, but the real gains are likely a byproduct of the incredible efficiency Apple is able to garner through the updated A15 Bionic processor. Compare that to something like the Pixel 6 Pro, which has a 5,000 mAh battery, it would be fair to assume that the latter should crush the iPhone in terms of power management. But no, dude, the iPhone 13 Pro slays the Pixel and most other phones that are almost double its size. It's pretty incredible. This allows me to comfortably get through a full day of heavy usage, we're talking a ton of gaming, shooting video, etc without ever having to worry that I'll need to re-up in the middle of the day. The amazing battery life also doesn't come at the expense of the phone's performance. For example, I've never had the high refresh rate throttle even on days of intense use. The user experience stays fast and buttery smooth without any hiccups, so you're not sacrificing anything to get this peace of mind either. Again, I know it might sound like battery life gains isn't the biggest deal, but this feature has honestly been one of the most noticeable and impactful from a user experience standpoint, and to me, it makes a huge difference on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so those are the three reasons why the iPhone 13 Pro is indeed the best iPhone available today, but of course, that's just my opinion and I wanna know what you guys think. Do you agree with me and think that this phone deserves to wear the crown? Or do you think another iPhone is more worthy? Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. 
Okay, that's about it for this review. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you guys found it useful. Again, I'd really appreciate it. Check out these other reviews if you're looking for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.